Hello everyone, welcome again in Eggman YouTube channel. So we will continue our learning on compositional oil modeling using PVTP software. And now we reach the state where we will do viscosity regression. We have completed the first and second regression and we obtained very good match for oil density and then formation volume factor and then first stage GOR and the solution GOR. Now, the last thing to match is the viscosity regression, all right? As all parameters, except for the oil viscosity from CCE, constant composition regression, are now match, this will focus on performing a specific regression for the viscosity, all right? The oil viscosity can be calculated using a number of models, and you can read the manual or textbook talking about that. And the most commonly used is the model called Lorentz Bray Cork, LBC. Okay, we will call it LBC model. As the model was originally developed for gases, its prediction for oil actually are often, you know, inaccurate, meaning that matching against lab data needs to be performed, of course. The matching against lab data can be performed twofold by regressing on the components critical volumes or on the LBC coefficients used in its formulation. As such, the viscosity can be matched without undoing progress made as part of the previous regressions on the in-situ densities, since the critical volume is not used in any other property calculation, right? We do not use critical volume for any other property calculation or regression. Matching against different viscosity models, such as, you know, Pedersen et al., is performed using a multiplier and a shift rather than regressing on the critical properties, just like what we do in other properties, like formation volume factor, GOR, densities, right? This is because these models are dependent on TC and PC instead of VC. And therefore, progress made in the previous regression could be undone. All right, now we will focus on the viscosity regression. I'm going to click on OK here. Now we will again copy this first regression. We want to maintain the parameters set up in the first regression. So let's copy and you can paste in the free space like this. Or maybe I will undo. I prefer doing this. I will make another block, PVT fluid, like this. And then I will connect from the second regression to this fluid. And I will call this second or fluid rec 2. If I open this output fluid, it will be like this. It will be in read only mode. And if we open this, as it is connected to the second regression object, it will be the same. Okay, but you can edit the value here. All right. Okay and okay. Now let's copy the first regression and then let's say paste it here. Now I'm going to connect from the fluid regression two to this copy it first regression, but let me label it as viscosity regression as instead. Okay, and now let's disconnect from PVT fluid to the viscosity regression, okay? So now it's a straightforward process or chain. Okay, and maybe we can do it like this. So now let's open the viscosity regression object and go to the regression input. Beautiful, regression input. Set the regression on to viscosity using the drop-down menu and check the CCE oil viscosity. So let's see. Here you can see the stream is 
fluid regression to there. That's the stream. And then regression algorithm, we maintain this Levenberg Mark Ward master stream from free track two. Now regress on viscosity. Interesting, right? So it's different from the phase and fall properties, right? Phase and volumetric properties. It's now viscosity. And let's check this because we get the oil viscosity data from CCE. And of course, we want to set it on the high weighting. Okay, and then we go to regression variables and select all on. Beautiful. And then let's see, selection summary, number of regression variables, 15. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then 15, right? All on or clear on or clear pure like this, okay? So clear pure, it means that you don't want to put CO2, C1, all the pure properties or pure components in the regression. Okay, and but let's all on. And regression options, uncheck the allow user oil coefficients and regression statistics, regression limits the same. All right, so I think so far, so good. Let's now calculate. Calculation on progress. It's very fast. Now let's go to regression error details. So the error, nine, okay. Minus 2.7, good. Minus 2.1, very good. Now it's 0 0.9. Now it's very good. Okay, very, very, very good. And let's see the regression variables, 14 iterations. And from this result, it can be seen that the liquid viscosity has been closely matched to the test data. Of course, this can be further verified by recalculating the CCE experiment and comparing the calculated data or the calculated result against the data, the measured viscosity. Okay, but I'm going to do that in the next video. So this is the regression error details, which give us very, very, very good indicator of good matching. And this is the output fluid. If you want, you can make another fluid model here. And then you can connect from viscosity regression to this input file, and then you can rename it, you know, final final fluid let's say okay but we haven't done the validation the last validation for the viscosity and we are going to do that in the next video until then thank you so much and see you